Hi. Welcome to Big Book System, the best online platform for engineering and architectural tutorial. Please kindly subscribe and like our YouTube channel because such subscriptions help us in deciding next video tutorials. Mind you, they make video tutorials like this on a daily basis. Thank you. For this class, I'll be discussing about how you can export or save your AutoCAD drawing in DWG. For example, you're working on a drawing and the next person you want to send your drawing file to does not have AutoCAD on his or her system or perhaps the place you want to print your drawing they are not using AutoCAD there. One or two reasons will always make you want to save your drawing in PDF format. Possibly you are sending it to your boss, your consultancy and the likes of them like that. So you need to understand how you can export or save your drawing in PDF format. Let me launch my AutoCAD application. I'm using my AutoCAD 2020. Now here, yeah, I have my AutoCAD already available. And here is my AutoCAD. I have a drawing already open. This is uh, a drawing that I really don't want to discuss about the context. This, this is a federal government project in Nigeria. And then um, I really don't want to discuss about the details of this drawing. Now you can see that I have an existing drawing here. And this drawing, I want to export it or save it as PDF. There are simple techniques I can use. I can either save everything here as a single drawing from PDF, or I can crop some aspect of the drawing out. So I want to assume I want to crop this particular drawing out and save it or export it as PDF so that I can send it to my boss or my IT consultancy and the likes of them like that. Or I can afford it for printing where they don't have AutoCAD application. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to type on my system screen, I'm going to type plot. Just type plot. I press the enter key on your keyboard. Now the AutoCAD warning is that the HP LaserJet Pro plotter could not be found on my system. That's no problem. Just click OK. But if you have your printer, it just uh, it will not give you this error message. So when you click OK, it's going to lead you to the plot model. Yeah, this is where you're going to do everything. Now, mind you, that's one simple procedure. Just type on your screen of your keyboard or your or, or, or your or your system. Then you have access to this. Just type plot. Another simple procedure through which you can have access to this is just come to this. AutoCAD icon here, go to print, then you click on plot. It's going to provide us with the similar things and you just click on OK. Now when you're here, you don't have much business with the page setup. You can see this is page setup. You have printer stroke plotter, you have paper size, plot area, and what to plot. This what to plot determines the plotting procedure now our four of us select my plotter so the name is none here so I'll click on this drop down here and I'm going to select DWG to PDF mind you select DWG to PDF in AutoCAD 2020 additional features you can see is AutoCAD PDF general documentations high quality of PDF another PDF features has been added just oppose lower versions like 2013 14 most of this pdf you don't see them there but you can always find dwg to pdf so i will select dwg to pdf and then it's automatically changed my paper size here i'll click on this drop down and i will look for the paper size that i want now one thing about plotting is that uh, plotting is one course on its own that you need to understand very well because you can see that I have ISO flu bleed, I have arc flu bleed, I have ISO standard. All these are meaning. 
so you must be able to understand this very well just go to youtube and check my full tutorials on the autocad of course i discuss more about all these plotters settings paper size so yeah i want to select my a3 iso flow bleed full bleed 420 by 297 that is landscape you can see that now 420 by 297 mm now i won't select that the next thing i want to do now is i can prevail but that's not the next thing what to plot is very essential i have four what to plot type i have display extend limits and window i'll use limit uh, window sorry because window will provide me access to crop that particular area i want to plot so i'll click on this window and you can see now it gave me access to a crop icon so i can crop from these edges down to these edges and i'll click and then you can see that i can preview what i have plotted and you can see that it has only plotted that particular window that i crop if i'm satisfied with this all i just need to do is to come here and click on plot autocad will ask me the name that i want to use to save my drawing let me say big books xx and i have it on my desktop not on my documents pdf and i'll say save now wait for the progress bar to complete and that's it you see click to view the plot and publish details you see the details of the cropping close that now if i locate my desktop just go to desktop and then you can see big books xx created march 12 2020 i will double click on that and then boom here we go that is a plot a single drawing out of the entire drawing area so and you can see this is a good plot and that is that about that of course they look at it that uh in printing this the green line might be a problems you can go and change that in a layer you can navigate to my video tutorial on layers and layer properties thanks for watching this video please do not forget to like and always subscribe to our youtube channel subscribing helps us and encourage us in doing more video tutorials on daily basis thanks for watching this tutorial thank you